welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys joining me. Let's uh let's take a look at some recent pickups that I have uh, acquired. All right, let's start with 3DS. Now in my last pickups video, recent pickups video, I had Luigi's Mansion 2, which is the remake to this, the remake of this for the Switch. So now I have a copy on 3DS. So there you go, complete in box. Generally, if I see something, first party Nintendo, complete in box, I'm gonna try to pick it up for the collection. So there we go, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. Next, Metro Redux. Now I believe this has Metro and yeah, it has Metro 2033 and it has Metro Last Light Redux. They're both Redux, but yeah, two games, one cartridge. I believe they're both on the cartridge as well. There's nothing on here about additional downloads. So I believe they're both on the cartridge. Hey, I'm okay with that. Next, Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, I had this game when it first came out and I ended up trading it in. And since I have been on the initiative to collect games for my Switch, and to stop trading stuff in, I've been on the, I'm buying stuff back. So I've been looking at this for a while. And as you know, first party Nintendo games, the price does not go down. But I ran across this in second and Charles, and it was about 10 to $12 cheaper there than I've seen it anywhere else. So I scooped it up. Luigi's Mansion 3. It's not in there. It's in my, my little game case. Was... All right, here is the deluxe edition of the Oregon Trail. Um, I just picked this up today. As you can see, it's still shrink wrapped. Um, uh, deluxe edition and it includes, uh, some DLC and a couple of extra things. We're going to give this a shot. It's just a remake of the old school game. You know, you trying to get your early pioneers to Oregon without catching dysentery and dying. But you know, we'll see how it goes. Just pick that up today. Uh, here is a copy of No Man's Sky for the Switch. Now, I don't know, this, this seems like another one of those uh, impossible port type games to me. But, you know, this one, Maybe all on the cartridge as well, but because I don't see any additional download um, or anything. So, you know, I don't, I don't even know what this game is about. I saw like when it first came out, it was years ago when it was supposed to come out. I remember seeing trailers for it and I was kind of hyped up about it, but I don't know what the the actual point is. <laughs> You're exploring space, I know that, and it's procedurally generated, so you know, your universe and everything is gonna be 
different from everybody else's, but you know, I don't know. We'll uh we'll get in there and we'll give it a shot. Just picked that up recently, so it hasn't made it to the game case yet. All right. Some old schools. Dragon's Dogma. You know, I was looking at this, I saw it, I think I got it for like six bucks. Um And I was like, man, I gotta grab it. But this is not the, cause there's Dragon's Dogma. And I, you know, I had it on the tip of my tongue as to what it was in the, in the cover art looks different. I have it. I have that copy on the switch, but I can't think of what it, what it, um, what is it? What's the name of that thing? Dragon's Dogma. Hold on a second. I'm I'm looking. Oh yeah, there it is. Dark Arisen. Now maybe that was DLC to the original, but this is the original. And I was like, man, this is not Dark Arisen. So I don't I don't know what the difference is, but Dragon's Dogma. I, I'm guessing it was DLC, but I'll look into that. If you know, let me know in the comments. So that's that. Next, I think I got this one for like eight, nine bucks also. Now this is Mass Effect Trilogy for the 360. This man. Now I have the remastered version. I think I have that. I know it's on Game Pass on the Xbox. And I know I have it through the PlayStation Network. I think one month they gave it away. So I have it on both of the next gen systems or the current gen systems. I have it on there. But when I saw this, I was like, man, I got to pick this up. So I picked this up. And this is, this is, um, Complete in box too, and I'm you know I'm surprised that everything's in there. Uh, five discs, but you know it doesn't say which game is which. It just says Mass Effect trilogy, and then look, it even has. I don't, I know I'm I'm not gonna say it's complete in box because there's probably a a manual that's missing there, but. They have some extended, uh, you know, all this shit probably doesn't work, but you know, if you see that code and you want to try it, Hey, feel free. Uh, and you better do it quick because the Microsoft store is closing very, very soon. So there you go. Mass effect. Trilogy for the Xbox 360. All right, next. Well, I picked this up Thursday. The Nintendo World Championship NES Edition. This is the physical copy, and it came with a bunch of extra collectible stuff. Now, I have played a little bit of this, and... It's a lot of fun. The Mario levels, you're trying to, you know, get your best time and, you know, you'll put up a time and you want to keep on trying and trying and trying to see if you can beat your own time. Now, when they get all the leaderboards and everything incorporated, from what I, what I understand, the leaderboards only update like once a week. So we'll, um, we'll see. Once they get all that going, you know, as how I stack up with the, uh, everybody else. So that's that. And here's the big one. EA sports college football 25. I've been waiting a long, long time for this game. This game has been gone for 
10 years. And they stopped making it. I don't know what happened with it, why it fell apart, it went away or whatever, but they stopped making it and now it's back. And I'm happy. Now, back in the day, I worked for GameStop. This was one of our games that we used to push hard. NCAA, we used to actually go online or no, we didn't go online. There was back then you had to mail a memory card in to a guy and the guy would put a save file on your memory card with all of the rosters for the NCAA teams on your memory card. It was a save file. And we used to take that memory card and we would use it as leverage to get people to reserve NCAA football and Madden at my old game store. Uh, You're talking about good times, fun times. Yeah, I was sorry to see this go away when it did, but I'm happy that it's back. And as soon as I get off this video, I'm firing it up. College football 25. Awesome. Awesome time. So. What else do I have? Um, I bought a. I bought a. A uh, Surface Duo cell phone used on eBay. Just, um, you know, something to play around with, some new technology outside of my iPhone. You know, I'll watch movies and surf the internet and YouTube and stuff on this thing while I'm at work or whatever. So there it is. Got that. Now can't really put service on this thing because I kind of got screwed on this deal when I bought it. You know, the description said it was unlocked. So I should have been able to get service for it. Now I may end up returning it because I'm talking to the dude right now because he put up some incorrect information on this. So, um, as it turns out, it's locked and it's still on somebody's account. So I can't get it activated because I'd have to contact the person that that's account it's on. And I believe the dude that sold it to me, He said he never had it hooked up on his account. So he probably brought it from someone and yeah. So it's a big mess. He said it was unlocked. It's as it turns out, it's not unlocked and it's still on someone's account. So you'll never be able to put service on it until whoever that is that still has it on their account takes it off. So I don't know if I have a piece of hot merchandise or what, but I bought it on eBay and that's the type of shit that happens when you buy stuff on eBay. Anyway, I'm talking back and forth to him. So, you know, I may end up getting a return, getting my money back and sending this back to him. So, you know, we'll see. So pick that up. Pick that up to play with. Also, Prime Day, I got this. I picked this up. Let me move the camera here a little bit. Okay, there you go. So on Prime Day, I picked this up. This thing 
Well, basically, it's a portable monitor. It's, uh, I don't know the manufacturer. Well, the M manufacturer is MNN. It's a portable monitor, a 15 inch portable monitor, uh, 1080p. Has a smart cover on it. There you can see the monitor. Um, you can use it by itself. This little smart cover will fold into a stand so the monitor can stand up by itself. Has HDMI on it, uh, USB DC. USB C um, on screen display. I mean, you can hook your video games to it. Uh, it comes with some cables in the back in case you don't have the correct cables to use it. It comes with cables and a power cord. Now you can use this to hook your hook your games to when you're traveling, or you can hook it to your laptop if you need a second screen or a third screen or whatever. So I just picked that up just in case, cause sometimes when I'm making these videos for YouTube, I need a second screen and I had been using my iPad as my second screen, but I figured, you know, for it was, it was a prime day deal. And like I said, it was only like 50 bucks, 56 bucks. It was between 50 and $60. So I was like, man, you know, as, as many times as I may need a portable monitor, 50 or 60 bucks is not bad for me to always have one. That's just a dedicated portable monitor. You know what I'm saying? So pick that up too. And that is it guys. Now. Yeah, that's it. I, I did get a 360 from my son it's a white 360 uh is it hooked up let me see if it's hooked up if it's not hooked up i'll grab it and put it in frame there it is so white 360 this is a, a s model i think my son got this thing for christmas one year and he had it in his storage area and it's just been chilling. So he um, gave it to dad because he knows I'm a sucker for retro game consoles. So, I mean, you know, all those games, like those 360 games and stuff that I have, I could put them in my um, Series S up there. But, you know, I like to have original hardware too. So I bought a, uh, I think this is a 250 gig hard drive. Yep. I bought a 250 gig hard drive cause he didn't have a hard drive in it, but I bought one of those. I think it was 20 some bucks at a local retro game shop here in town. So I got that and I bought a controller, but I have to find another controller cause the controller I got is not that good. So. We're going to get one of those and then I'm going to show you this. I, I know, of course, you've seen one, but it is a recent pickup. But it, this this one here is not the recent pickup. This one is the one that I've had that I've been playing with. But I got one of these. A Switch OLED. Um was looking at um, Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, and somebody had one posted up there for 150 bucks. And you know, I, I'm, I like a deal. So I, you know, I hit them up and I was like, hey, is this still available? And they were like, yeah, it is available. And they asked me if I could meet them somewhere. And I was like, no, I can't meet you anywhere. Cause I'm working now when I go to lunch, I can meet you close to my job. So they were like, okay, yeah, let's do that. And I was like, all right, excellent. So when I went on my lunch break, they hit me up and they were like, okay, I'm here. Please bring cash. And I was like, okay, well 
I have cash, but I only have a hundred bucks in cash. And they were like, okay. So I got a switch complete in box. The only, well, I'm not going to say it was complete in box cause it was missing a power cable, but I have several switch power cables just laying around here. So, um, now it's complete in box when I added the power cable, but everything else was in the box. The, even the joy con rails, you know, all the plastic that everything came in was, it was back in the plastic. Everything was in there and I got it for a hundred bucks and it was, it was in the box and the, the, even the paperwork's in there. So, and that one, and you know, it feels better than mine does. You know, I ain't bragging or nothing, but I, you know, I, I ain't no little kid. So I take care of my stuff, but that one, it, it feels like whoever had that thing, got it, used it maybe once or twice. There was only one game saved on it. Used it maybe once or twice and then put it down. So I got it. And, you know, I tested it out and my son's playing Breath of the Wild on it now because he wanted to, um, he's got a Switch Lite, which I gave him. And he's like, I want, I want to be able to play it on TV. So I was like, all right, well, you can use this until further notice. I didn't give it to him. I let him borrow it. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how that goes. But that's it, guys. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning into my channel. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, hit me up with some comments in the comment box. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. My name is Phil, and I am Old and Nerdy.